Greg Smith. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. My right honourable friend was right earlier to reference that the opposition still refuse to condemn the rail strikes, strikes that will hit retailers, the hospitality sector at a time of year that they are most dependent on trade, frustrate school children getting to school and patients getting to their hospital appointments. So will she make time for a debate that looks at the impact of those rail strikes and further than that looks at ways in which we can prevent a double whammy by cancelling planned engineering works over that period for the interests of rail passengers? Well, I think uh, with regard to his last practical suggestion, I shall certainly write and uh, put that in front of the Secretary of State for Transport. Uh, we want to do everything we can to ensure that the, the travelling public, and especially those that are completely reliant on rail services, uh, can travel. We could hold a debate. I'm sure it would be very well attended, certainly by this side of the House. But I think what we really need is some legislation to ensure minimum standards so the travelling public are not disrupted as they they currently are. We are doing that. I hope the opposition will support it.